אצל יד ראש. I have four to five minutes. <clears throat> just, just go ahead. <laughs> yeah, because as you may, real, as you may recall, we have um, online, uh, you know, prayers. Um, online prayers, and it's going to start at 12. Um, exactly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Elekratelisot, elekriyadabahashis. Isa prakati ze brokatanda, elekri zu prafatika, ele bruska parakati ze preketu kapanga, ele tarakatika, mazu velatos ika prakatu ale, esika prakatu ke perade nizo prahadas, e giza faratu meke pakaros ila brokatasa. Now, precious Holy Ghost, have your way and glorify your name. Glorify Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I would like to first thank Apostle Dr. Paul and his wonderful wife, Grace, for the opportunity given to me to be part of this auspicious convention. I will not take it for granted. Thank you so very much. I was wondering. I was wondering, you know, um, who am I to have such a privilege to minister, to minister to you wonderful people. Uh, so pastor, I'm very grateful. May the Lord bless you. Um, and I love the title. Um, the title is, is very powerful. I'm always excited with that title. And he says it is shift, simple, simple, shift, just very simple. It's, it's not complicated. It's, it's a title we can remember, you know, 40 years from today, 50 years from today, if Jesus dies, because it's very simple, shift. Just a four-letter word. <clears throat> but it's loaded. As simple as it is, it is very loaded because it's, it is connected to destiny. Is, is, is a destiny world, and anyone who is interested in destiny must fall in love with this world. Shift. If if you want to, if you want to have impact in life, you must fall in love with the world. And it is not just um, um, a periodic world; it is a timeless world. <clears throat> I hope my voice is audible enough. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so to make it very simple for us, I have a list of questions, you know, thank God you are recording it. So that, because I may not have time, but at least you can go back to the questions. The questions will help everyone and anyone understand what the Holy Ghost is gonna to speak to, to us about. Number one question is, since he said is 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 shift, we are talking about shift. My one number one question is, what has been your location? What is your location? What has been your location? Number two question is, what has been your position? Understand the, the difference between the word location and the word position. They're not the same. They may, they may be synonyms, but they are not the same. What has been your location? And what is your location? What is your position? Or what has been your position? Number three question is, where are you shifting to? If you are shifting, where are you shifting to? Which direction? Are you shifting upward or are you shifting backward? Are you shifting vertically or are you shifting horizontally? What is the direction of the shift? Number four question is, where are you shifting from? 
are you, where are you shifting from? What is your coordinate? What is your coordinate? Of course, many of us know what coordinate is. You know, GPS operates on coordinates. You know, what is your coordinate? Is it not east or not south? So that's an example. Spirit, there's also not east and not south in the spiritual realm. So where are you shifting from? Number five question is, why are you shifting? Why are you shifting? Okay, so Pastor, thank you that you're recording it. Why are you shifting? Number six question is, what is your purpose of shifting? The number five question and number six question are, are almost the same, but I know why I put it there. Number six question is, what is your purpose of shifting? Number seven question is, is your relocation a permanent relocation? Is your shifting permanent? Number eight question is, or is it a temporary shift? Are you shifting temporarily? Are you shifting momentarily? Is it just a shifting for tonight? Or a shifting for this week? Or a shifting for this month? Or a shifting that would, that would, that would outlive you? What kind of shifting? Number nine question is, who are you shifting for? Are you shifting for yourself? Or are you shifting for Jesus? Is your shifting for yourself? Or is your shifting for God? Okay, that's, that's the question there. Now, I want to read us a scripture because it's very important to have a scripture. I want to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. I want to read it from the literal Bible. Yeah, it says, when I was a child, I was speaking like a child. I was thinking like a child. I was reasoning like a child. When I became a man, I did away with the things of the child. Okay, what I have on the screen is, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. My subtitle to, to this is to tell us that shifting starts in the mind. 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 In the mind. I would like to conclude this very brief brief message with, um, with some personal questions. Number one personal question that I would like you to ask yourself and that I would like to ask myself is, why am I here? Number two question, what am I living for? Number three question, what is my purpose? Number four question, is Jesus my role model? Number five question, would I be honest to myself to call Jesus my role model? If I say that Jesus is my role model, am I being honest to myself? Am I being real or am I just being religious or am I just acting? If I say that Jesus is my role model, that will, that will answer the previous questions that I have put up. You know, put put across to us. Number the other question I have is, what takes most of my time? I'm still on the shift. I'm still on the shifting starts from the mind. My question is, what takes most of my time? What is taking most of my time? What is taking most of my time? 
what is taking most of my time? What is taking most of my time? My next question is, who takes most of my time? 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 My next question is, on what do I spend most of my money? On what? On what do I spend most of my money? Beloved, I know why these questions, if you can answer them honestly, sincerely to yourself, then you are already on your way of shifting. If you can answer these questions honestly, behind closed doors, then you are already on your way. My next question, please, um, Pastor Ryan, I'm almost concluding. Thank you for your patience. My next question is, what is my purpose for pursuing money? What is my purpose for pursuing money? My next question is, when would pursuit of money be enough? When would pursuit of money be enough? My next question is, what would be my legacy when I'm gone? What would men remember me for? Would they remember me as a man that had fleet of cars? Would they remember me as a man that, that, that lived at the choicest place in the city? Would they remember me as a man that brought 80 million, 100 million souls to Jesus? What would they remember me for? My, my last question is, can I go to prison for the sake of Jesus Christ and his gospel and still be happy? Can, if, 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 I am, if I am today's Apostle Paul, would I go to prison for the sake of Jesus and his gospel and still say, rejoice? I say again, rejoice. That is my last question. When you have time, you can, you can go and revisit it. But let me just pray one prayer in 30 seconds. Father, set my heart on fire for you. My father, set my heart on fire for you. God bless you. And may the Lord bless you, Pastor. And may the Lord bless your main convention. And have a wonderful one. Thank you, Pastor Ryan, for your time. God bless you.